Hi, this is Melissa with A Creative Journey with Melissa, and today I'm going to show you how to make a really super duper cute card with a super duper versatile stamp set and another super duper versatile stamp set. See, you're getting extra, extra super duper today. Why? Because tomorrow's Father's Day, and I usually do my videos on Sunday or Saturday or Tuesday. It just depends on my mood and what's going on. But I wanted to make sure that I told everybody Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to the awesome fathers. Happy Father's Day to the awesome fathers of um, kids that may not be their own. Happy Father's Day to the awesome moms that are fathers and mothers. Just Happy Father's Day. I would also like to say Happy Father's Day to my amazing husband because he is the best father I know and he rocks and I love him and he's amazing. So now that we got that said, um, I'm going to show you this awesome project and I'm also going to show you a few other things you can do with this awesome stamp set. And this obviously is a um, uh, super duper helpful with a multitude of things and the reason why we say that is because it's got Happy Spring, Happy St. Patrick's Day, Happy Easter, we have Happy Mother's Day, and of course we have Happy Fourth of July. So I love this stamp set. One of the reasons why I created it is because I like to have versatility in my stamp sets. So this is awesome and you can use it for all of these occasions. And Happy Spring can actually even be for Easter as well. Or if you just want to send someone a card and say, hey, how's it going? Or you can also send an awesome St. Patrick's Day card just in case you want to say, hey, I really think you make my day lucky. So that is the awesome stamp set that we enjoy. It is Spring and Summer Holiday Celebrations. And the other one that we're going to be using is tie-dye, excuse me, tie-dye and splatter. And the reason why it is tie-dye and splatter is because you can make a tie-dye card or a paint splatter or ink splatter card. So I really enjoyed creating this and I hope that you enjoy playing with this. If you want to potentially win this set or this awesome set right here, you are welcome to sign up for our YouTube channel and of course our um, blog slash newsletter and you will be entered to be a winner. Now you only have to enter once, just make sure that both your um, sign on for your YouTube and your sign on for your um, blog and email both match so we have names. Otherwise, if I don't see that you're registered for both of those, I will pass and go to the next person that is. And I would hate for you to actually be registered but not have matching names and then I can't match up. Anyway, so these are the awesome stamp sets I'll be giving away next week. This It's for this week's post, but they're announced next week. You know what I mean. you got a week to do all that fancy stuff, which is only two things. Just make sure you're a subscriber. And make sure you check out our blog next week. And if you're a subscriber, you will get an automatic email when I send out the new one that will hopefully have your name on it. So if you want to check out any of that stuff, everything is on our website at www.acreativejourneywithmelissa.com or www.acjwm.com. So those are the, co the cool stamp sets we'll be using, uh, specifically the Father's Day, and I'm guessing you figured that out from this cute card. So I'm going to set this aside right now, and I'll give you a close-up of this cute little card we've got going on here. There are a ton of different things you can do with this tie-dye and splatter stamp set. This is just one of a number. Um, I'm going to show you a few toward the end of the video, so make sure you um, check it out. But this is a cute, simple, very nice Father's Day card and hopefully my husband will enjoy it and if he's listening to me video right now pretend you didn't hear me anyway so this is the Father's Day card right here and now I'm going to show you what you will need to create this awesome Father's Day card all you'll need is just a little bit of adhesive you'll need a card base you will need a mat for your main part of the card so this is a colored mat main part of your card You'll need just a little strip of paper that is the same size as the mat. And then you'll need a foam dot. Now, the other thing that would be very helpful, and that's up to you if you want to use a square or a circle. I used a circle in my creation, so you're welcome to use a circle punch. This is one and a quarter, and that's the exact size that I used for this cool creation. So if you want to do the same exact thing, you'll need a one and a, one and a quarter inch circle punch. Okay. So with that, what we're going to do is we're going to wipe off a little bit of dust that's on my punch right there. Um, I put them, I keep them in drawers and they still get dusty. I, I don't know. Anyway, so, um, and I use them a lot. So we're going to keep this cute little piece, this cute little thing out. And you know what? We're also going to need another piece of paper 
to cut out our circle. So I will put this right here so you have a picture and a visual of what you will need for your creation and that is awesome because that will be helpful I bet. So we have this and we'll need this cute little foam dot. You can do two if you want depending on how big your circle is. Okay, so we've got that taken care of. So we're going to keep this out. We're going to keep this out. We're going to put all this stuff back because we don't need this yet. And let's see here. We will use all of these cute little, well, actually I can just keep it all out for you so you can see it all as it happens. How's that? We'll just leave that there. And then we'll need these cute little uh, stamp sets right here. Um, what we're gonna do first is we're going to uh, do the background with the tie dye and splatter set, okay? So with that, we're going to utilize mine and mine I keep in just a little envelope like this. So I'm just going to pull that out and have that ready. And then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to make it a little bit less clustered there. So I will put this aside. Now, it's totally up to you if you want to do this. You can um, uh, place a piece of paper. I'm going to grab a piece of paper as my cute little chair likes to... Um, creep while I do that. I have a printer behind me, so I'm just taking a pair, a little piece of paper right here. Now I can actually create on top of this and wipe it off. It's um, very versatile and it's protected, but I'm going to do this for those of you that may want to see it, um, how they may need to do it. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we have, of course, a stamp block right here. Okay, so we're going to get out our stamp block too. And with that, we're going to um, take out whichever ones you want to use. Now, the stamps that I used for this creation, we used the this one, this one, and this one. So we just used the paint splatter ones, the large, medium, and small. Now, there's a tiny one, too. We did not use that one. Okay, so I'm just going to pull these off. Now, these are photopolymer stamps. If you haven't used photopolymer stamps, they basically are naturally sticky, so you can um, stick them to an acrylic block. And if you've ever had photopolymer stamps and they aren't sticky, that's because you just need to wash them. You can just use warm water and soap and they'll come right back, which is awesome. So in the meantime, I want to show you a new product that we got in. We have this awesome block, which I love, and I love the grid on it. It's, it's really fantastic. Well, now we have bigger ones. We have a three and a half inch one and a four and a half inch one. Oops, it's so new, it's got little fuzzies on it. How do you like that? So um, we have the four and a half inch and the three and a half inch one. So hopefully you'll check those out at the website. Again, the website is www.acreativejourneywithmelissa.com or www.acjwm.com. So I literally made some steam from my fingers being so hot. How do you like that? I don't know if you can see it. Isn't that funny? Okay, anyway, so we got that done. So we're gonna use these. I'm going to use the medium one for the medium stamp. I'm gonna use the large one for the large stamp. And I'm going to use the small one for the small stamp. I figure, you know, realistically, I could use this one and it would be perfectly fine just using the large one. Oops, wee! Um, it would be perfectly fine if we just used the large one. It would be no problem. But I'm gonna just show you all of them. Um, I really like these because not only are they um, uh, polished at the edges so they're clear right there. They're also very comfortable and they have a great grip. So I like to grip mine and I like to make sure that they're comfortable especially if you're stamping a lot and you stamp them over and over and over again so it's important to me that we do that. That's why I like them. So we're going to start with um, we're going to try to do something similar to this one but we're not going to do exact because we're not. Um, because we're making for one a smaller card and for two there's no way I could do it exact unless I lined it up and I don't think you want me to sit here and do that. I know I don't. I'm pretty sure you don't either. So with that, we're going to start with Toffee Crunch. Okay. And we're going to just ink this cutie up just like so. Here, I'll bring it down here a little bit. Now, because that paper that we're using, we're making the same exact card, only we're making the smaller version. Because the paper is smaller, we're not going to use as many as the, of these um, showing completely. See how that's kind of off the edge? So that way I won't utilize all of the paper, otherwise we won't be able to put any other colors on it. That would be bad. So we're gonna put a little bit right there. Oh, 
stuck on me. And then we're going to put this one right here. So it's almost all the way on, but not quite. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that on the side. I have a cleaning pad over there, so that's set. Now, I thought about using the dark, the rich cocoa and making that as one of the main focuses, but I was afraid it was just going to be too, too much, so I chose not to do that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the desert sand, and I'm going to use the desert sand on the medium size splatter of the tie-dye and splatter. So we're just going to ink this. You can rub it like this, and then I usually like to tap it, just so you don't get the lines from rubbing it. So we're just going to do this right like that. And then one over here, one in the middle. You know, I did make a mistake there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to try to line that up and redo it, so hopefully it'll come out OK. Should be pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. Let's see if I can get it. There. Yeah, not too bad. So we got that one. We have this. We're going to just do the edge right here. And then we're going to do, hmm, I'm going to do just this part right there. So I like to do um, odd numbers. So you see there's three there. There's five colors here, and then I'm going to do the rest of them, the smaller ones, um, with the darker color. It really kind of gives it a little pop in here. I really like the way it looked, so that's why I did it again. So we're going to just use the small stamp block with a small uh, tie-dye stamp. And really, or you can, sorry, not tie-dye, um, it's the tie-dye and splatter set, but it's the paint splatter that you're using. So. There's, there's a lot of different ways you can use this stamp set. I really like it a lot. You can use it for babies. You could use it um, like if there's a new baby and use pink and blue. You could use it for um, Fourth of July, which I do have a sample of. You can use it um, with, you know, red and blue. There's a lot of different ways you can use this stamp set, and I really like the versatility of it. And like I said before, I don't know about you, but my budget doesn't allow me to buy as many stamps as I like to. So what I try to do is make stamps for everybody like I would like them. Very versatile, make sure that other people have different ways to use them, and I think it's important to do that. So that's why I create them this way, to make sure that they're just there's just not a one use and you don't have to sell them right away. Because I like when I find a stamp that I like, I tend to use it, and I tend to use it a lot. So that's what I do. So, if you'll notice here, this is the creation. We have one, two, three, four, five of the other color. We have one, two, three of, um, I'm sorry, the other color. Okay. This, one, two, three, four, five, that is the desert sand. One, two, three is the toffee crunch. And the rich cocoa is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I did make it odd so that you could um, make sure that you had uh, a good balance. It's good to do them in odd numbers because you don't want to make it look like it's just like cut in half. Um, sometimes that happens with the design uh, design elements. So now that we did the stamping part for this, we're going to set this aside. I'm going to take this piece of paper out, and we're going to utilize the small stamp block, whoops, the small stamp block, and we're going to take out our spring and summer holiday celebrations stamp set. And that would have Happy Father's Day. So we're gonna take that cutie off. And we're just gonna place it right on there. And with that, we're going to use the rich cocoa. We're gonna ink that up. And I'm just going to do a few. As you know, I like to do a few extra just in case. Can't hurt, right? I already have the ink out. And that should be good. Hopefully I didn't do them too close together. Sometimes I do that. That's always fun, isn't it? Trying to create a video and you have to do it all over again because you messed up. Or you get to see the mistake I made and with that, that's great, right? So we have this Happy Father's Day stamped. So I'm just going to use this circle punch and I line it up and punch it out. And so that we have done and ready. So we'll leave that right here. I'm just going to take this foam dot, just take off the back of it, and put it on the back of this. 
and then we'll set it aside because we're going to be compiling the card that we're going to create. So like I said before, what we're doing is we're creating the same exact card as this, only a small version of it. So this is an A2 card, and I believe it's four and a quarter by five and a half, if I remember correctly, and I believe this is six and a half by five and a half, or five and a quarter, I don't remember, I'm sorry. Um, I think this is an A7, if I remember correctly. Um, but anyway, we're going to use this, and we're just going to utilize some of the uh, adhesive and put this card together. So we're taking this, which is the stamped uh, paper we used, or we created, and we're just going to put some adhesive on the back of that. Don't need a whole bunch, just need to make sure that it sticks to the mat. This right here is the mat, so you're going to mat your, um, your creation that you stamped right to this piece of paper, and try to center it, of course, best you can. Okay, so once that's done, you can just adhere your um, matted creation, stamped creation to your card. So we're just add some more adhesive. Place this right in the middle of the card, or as, as middle as it can be. That looks pretty good. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this little strip. This little strip is just going to add a little bit of a pop of the color. And we're going to make sure that it has uh, adhesive all the way across because otherwise it might pop up and we don't want that to happen. And it's going to be the same size as this photo mat. So you could make this photo mat just a little bit longer and then it would work. Okay? So that works. Make sure that looks pretty centered. Does that look good? I think it might need to be moved a little bit. So I'm fortunate enough to be using um, removable and repositionable tape which I like to do because I make mistakes all the time. I don't know about you, but I am definitely a mistake maker. Sometimes my mistakes turn out fantastic. Others, not so much. So what we have right here is we're just going to take this um, sentiment that we're going to create for the Father's Day card, and we're going to take off the other side of the adhesive, and we're just going to simply put it right on there. And that is the creation. How do you like that? You've got a dad version and a young son version. Kind of cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, I just thought of it. It's amazing the comedy I come into in my head. Um, anyway, yeah, don't encourage me. I'm really not that funny. But um, I really hope you enjoyed this creation today, and I really hope that you enjoyed um, learning how to do this and these amazing, amazing stamps, and they're very versatile. What I want to show you, though, before I forget, and I will, is there's two other cards that I created with these stamp sets. I created this one, and this is for 4th of July, so it's just something different, nothing, you know, um, nothing too difficult. You could make this pink and blue and make it a baby card. You could make this red, blue, and green for a birthday card, or you could even do the red and blue and make it for a whole bunch of different things and make it for a birthday card too. That would work. Um, this right here, I'm going to put these away. Um, this right here, is one of my favorite cards I've ever made. This is a Halloween card. And we use the um, splatter um, stamp on the back of the card. You can see as the background right here. This is one of my favorite, 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 favorite cards. I love it. It's fantastic. I love it. I was so, so, so happy with the way this turned out. Um, if you want the information, I will show you this and I will also put in the link so you can learn how to make this because I did do a tutorial on this one too and I love this big eye especially for Halloween. I realize it's not Halloween right now and that's okay but Father's Day I thought it'd be nice to make some cool cards and have these awesome cards um, using the um, amazing tie-dye and splatter set and this actually is part of our other um, is part of the stamp set too that you could win. So make sure you check out our website at www.acreativejourneywithmelissa.com and www.acjwm.com. Thank you so much for joining us today and I hope you had a great time and going on a creative journey with Melissa. Thanks. Bye-bye.